Hello there. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, save game system since it was requested by a lot of people in my last video that was about uh, setting up graphic settings for Android. So if you want to create a save game for Android or iOS device, there's something that you should um, do in the project settings. So go to edit project settings and then go into Android. Uh, under platforms Android, you have something called to use external files di uh, directory for Unreal Engine files. This one should be enabled. It's disabled by default, but uh, if it's disabled, the save game system won't work on some devices. So it's good practice to make sure that this one's uh, enabled. In my experience, uh, save game systems just work on iOS, so you don't really need to do anything about that. Okay, how to create the save game system? Um, the first thing that you have to do, I mean, let's find this one. I've already created one since uh, this game's already on Play Store and you can go ahead and download it and play for free. Right click, Blueprint class. Um, if you don't have all classes, just uh, expand this one out, type in save, and you have a save. Um, this one's actually created by me. You have a save game, uh, select it, name it something I've named it save so you can just go ahead and name it save as well and uh, when it's done open it up so I'm going to open my own save up so I can just show you everything in real time so I've created some variables these are the variables that you want to save in your game so for my game I have some levels that I have to make sure uh, that a player can resume the game from where they've uh, left the game so that's being done with uh, the level integer so you can just if you want to add a, a variable you can just add one here and name it something again and you can come in here change the variable type if you want it to be a boolean type in, uh, select boolean if you want int integer integer this float vector or anything you want really um, so I've used level as an integer, one, two, three, four. Uh, location is a vector 3D. So I want to track where my character is when the player le leaves the game. So that's very important for me. So I uh, added a variable called location and one is specifically for graphics, which is again an integer. I have low, medium and high settings. Uh, one for me zero is low one is medium and two is high settings so when you've done that you have to go compile uh, as you can see my default value for graphics is set to two so whenever someone uh, starts the game the default graphic settings for them should be high okay so how we can really save and load the game so it's really uh, it's really easy the first thing that you have to do I mean for me um, when I come into the level blueprint you can fire up this event wherever you want literally it's accessible from wherever you want uh, in my event begin play I have one node called does save game exist this slot game is something that you choose. So for example, if, if you have 10 slots in your game, you can, right now you can um, search for slot one or two or three, whichever you prefer really. Uh, I do have one slot and that's called save. It's just based on your preference. Uh, so type in does save game exist and then it will go into the A branch so if a uh, save game exists we have to load based on that right so we come in here load game from slot load game from slot slot again is the same slot we've used here since I have only one slot that slot is called save uh, and using the index is zero because my game is not multiplayer and after loading the uh, save, you have to cast to it. So you have to cast to what you've created here, this one. So you go in here, cast to save, whatever you call, you called it. I've called it save in here, this actor. So you call it, uh, you cast to save. And then 
it's good practice to always promote it to a variable this one here so you can uh, access it later on without casting to it that's it's because of that okay now that we've loaded it what we can do with the variables so in my case the first thing I have to do is when the game starts I need to know uh, the last time the player was the location and the level and the graphic settings so if they've changed the graphic settings the last time they played the game uh, right now they should see what they had changed before right so this is where we load that stuff so I have one level location and graphics these all of these uh, that we've created in this save here can be accessible during uh, this casting so I can just go ahead and get graphics or if you add something let me add something to a variable called uh, a boole boolean variable called to all I can do is I have to make sure it's compiled again to refresh everything and type in get to this wasn't here but I created it here so now after casting to it I can access to it that's why we always cast to it okay so now I can access to level graphics and location so I have some variables set up in my uh, in my level blueprint so I just go ahead and get whatever I want like graphics and then use another event that I've created to that I already showed you in the other video um, to set the graphic settings so based on what I had here I can easily um, switch the graphic settings based on the integer I have here so this is what we do when we want to load stuff what about saving stuff that's the most important part so if we don't have anything in here does get save game exist if we don't have anything then we have to create one right uh, so that's where create save game object uh, the object is what we've created here this one this actor so make sure you uh, select that, that one here and then as I told you it's always good practice to promote it to variable which I didn't <laughs> Uh, but anyway and then if we have something if we want to give these variables give the um, for example get graphics or I'm sorry set graphics um, some variables this is the greatest place to do it so if you're not uh, happy with the default value here you can easily change the default value here as well and then what you have to do is just save game to slots this slot is uh, the object is this one just type in save game to slot and the slot name is what we used here and here so that's really important uh, and that's basically it 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 uh, if you want to save game uh, you just need to create a save uh, game object and then save game to slot if you want to load the game load game from slot casting to it is the most important part and that's where it pretty much it there's another node called um, the de delete sa uh, game in slot so you can just type in this slot sometimes maybe you want to delete something maybe you want to have something in your uh, UI to give the players the option to delete the save game this is where you do it so my slot is called save with this node I can easily get rid of the data I have in my um, save system uh, and as you can see if I come in here where I had shown you my um, so if you want to save on what you already have you first need to load that save game and cast to it and then save on it so for example I just want to uh, 
change the graphics integer integer here I have to first load game from slot this slot is called save and then cast to the object I created here and then I want to set the graphics value so later on I can use it here so this is where I'm setting the graphics and this is where I'm loading it up later and then after we've uh, we set this one we have to this is very important we have to use this node save game to slot and the save game object is this one that we've already created and the save game uh, slot is called safe um, and that's pretty much it uh, I hope it helped you and if it did please hit that like button and have a great day bye